Tuesday, October 15th. Market's going to open up in like three minutes. And uh, just looking at the Dow here, the YM, gapping up over 100 ticks. And um, 130 ticks, actually. It looks like it's going to be a good day on the YM today. After the uh, holiday yesterday. Anyway, I'll come back, take some entries. All right, market opening up here. Let's see what it wants to do. See if I can get a signal on this thing. It's a pretty good gap. 130 ticks up, not bad. Not bad at all. No signal yet. Alright, let me see. Got a long signal here, but uh, I'm going to wait to see if it's an offset entry. If it's an offset entry to go short, I'll take it. And it just might be one. Order ready to go. 20 contracts at market. Right now, technically, uh, using one of my systems, I have a long signal, but it could be a fake. It could be an offset entry. And if it is, it'll make it a very high mathematical trade here. very high. And if not, well then it'll just keep going up and I'll use another entry on it somewhere. Okay, it looks it's setting up to be an offset entry here. Okay, my entry is going to be 854. 854, take it short. Well, I'll just go ahead and let you see it here. Just taking a look around the screen, you'll see a whole lot going on here. I'm basically just going to concentrate on the YM here. Because the YM is in play. Whenever the YM is in play, or the ES, same thing, uh, they're really good to play. You can make a lot of money from them. Okay, 854, I'm going to go short. 61. Setting up perfectly for an offset entry here. And 
58, 57, 56, it's 54, I'm going to go short, 56, 55, there it is. Okay, got an offset entry to go short here, 20 contracts, in short 20 contracts here. Just confirm my entry. Yep, it's right. This is one of my systems here. You can see uh, yesterday uh, it was uh, Columbus Day, a uh, federal holiday in the USA. I actually took this trade here, made $4,000 on it, and then my electricity went out. And when I came back, I, I actually realized that it was a federal holiday. And it was funny because it's not me who realized it, it was my girl, she, she told me. She said she read online that uh, people weren't trading because of the banks were closed. And I was like, what? So I looked it up, and sure enough, it was a federal holiday, Columbus Day. I was like, oh, man, i got to remember to check that. Because on holidays, it, it, it's like this. It goes uh, really choppy. You don't really don't want to trade on holidays. Even though the, the system, my system still worked, but it didn't work anywhere near as good as it normally would. Just patiently waiting here for it to come on down. Uh, still looking for signals. Don't have any signal yet except for the initial uh, short signal. Uh, offset entry to go short. Okay, I'm going to get a signal here. It's not looking good. It looks like it wants to press up now. But 
I'm going to wait for the signal. Get ready to get back out of the trade. Come on, give me a short signal, crazy, crazy instrument. Looking for a signal. It looks like it's going to go long. Let me see here. If it hits 69, I'm getting out. 66, 65. If it hits 69, I'm going to get out. If it hits 56, it's a short signal. If 56 is a short, 69 I get out. Sixty-six, sixty-seven. All right, I'm out. Well, that wasn't fun. Okay, looking for another entry here. All right, 56, I'll go back short. going to be an offset entry. This thing's acting really choppy, huh? Chop, chop, chop. Going to go in at 56 short. Okay, it's just going to go up here, I think. All right. Okay, right now I have one long signal here. If it gives me another one, I'll take it long. Okay, I'll come back. Okay, looking for a signal. If it hits 66, I'm going to take it short. Seventy-two, seventy-one. Sixty six will be a short signal. Sixty nine, sixty eight. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Okay, uh, 81. I'm going to take it long. 77, 79. There it is. Taking it long. That's a long signal right there. Looks like it's going to go up here big. That's two long signals in a row.
Okay, I'll come right back. Okay, it's shooting up pretty good here. Okay, I'm just uh, patiently waiting for another signal. We're going to get some lines here. I'll be right back. Okay, we've got our two lines here. Now this is another one of my systems now. This is a different system. And if it breaks this line here, it's a long signal, it's going to go up. If it breaks this line here, it's a short signal, it's going to go down. Obviously, since I'm already long, I want it to uh, go up. But I'm going to get another signal here, and it looks like it's setting up to be a short. Boy, this thing is choppy. Okay, if it goes short, I'm going to get out here. Okay, looking for a signal here. If it hits 79, I'm going to go short. Seventy nine, I take this thing short. Really choppy. Eighty-three, eighty-two, eighty, seventy-nine. I take it short. There it is. Okay, I've got a short position. Twenty contracts. Now I'm assuming it's going to come all the way down now and come break this line and go short. Very choppy though. That's one of the things that this system here, these lines, it takes away the chop so you don't get chopped up using one of my systems. And it just gets you going in the right direction in a bigger sense, which really helps. You can take more losses with the system I was just using than this one here, the, 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 the lines that you're seeing, which is the easiest uh, system I have. But the system I was just using is very good, you know, it gets you in great as long as it's not real choppy. If it goes back and forth and gives long, short, long, short, long, short signals, it's, you know, bad, but Okay, in the interest of time, I'll come back. Okay, looking for another signal here. Hopefully it's going to be a short signal. Okay, looking for a short signal here. If the price hits 65, it's a short. There it is. It's a short signal. Okay. So it's going to come down here, and it probably is going to break below this line, which will give another short signal. Uh, we can hold it here for a bit. bit choppy though in the beginning. Okay, I will come back. Okay, if the price hits if the price hits seventy five, it's an offset entry to go long. I'll have to go back the other way. Seventy four. Okay, there it is. Going back the other way here. Okay, got a long position. 
This thing's crazy. It's really, really choppy. Chop, 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 man. Okay, so it should keep on going up now and go break this line up here and go hot and go uh, long. It's very choppy today. That's why this system here, these lines, represent the easiest trading system that I that I have because it basically takes away all the job and gets you going in the right direction right from the beginning. Whereas right now I'm really getting chopped up here bad. But once I catch it right, then it, it'll keep on going here for a bit. It'll break one of these lines, either the top line or the bottom line, and it'll keep on going. Starting to shoot up here. Looking for it to break this line up here. It's got a ways to go before it does so. Uh, I have another offset entry to go long again. This thing is really offset today. Really choppy and really offset. I'll come back. Okay, 901, it's a long signal. Okay, it's already a long signal. Hit 902. So it's going to go up here for a bit. And uh, we'll see how hot it wants to get. Currently up 600. 700. market wants to get hot not coming down in October it is October 15th and it is not coming down instead it is going up watch out for the market to run Always remember, when everybody says the market's going to go down, it means the market's going to go up. When everybody says the market's going to go up, it means most likely the market's going to go down, especially if everybody's uh, celebrating. If everybody's celebrating and everybody's buying the market and everybody thinks it's going to go up, <laughs> short it, because it's going to go down. Markets never go down when everybody thinks it's going to. Just like markets go down when everybody thinks it's going to go up. Okay, we're getting a good run here. I'm up 2,500. I only have long signal here. Ready to jump out, though, to take some profits. What have I got? I have no signal except for long signal so far. Might roll over here on me. Could I just get one more move back up? No, 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 don't 
don't roll over, don't roll over. One more move back up and I'll get out. The high is 924 right now. Let's see if it can go break it. One more move back up and I'm going to take the exit. Okay, 923, 24. See if we can hit 34. Getting ready to get out. I'm up uh, 2700. Okay, 27. One more pop up. Come on. 27, 28. Come on, one more pop up out for me. All right, I'm jumping out right here. All right, I got 2800 out of it. And there it goes up. Oh well. Yeah, it's pretty hot though today. That was a nice move up. All right, after going down like what eighteen hundred or something like that, I don't remember now, but I'm up twenty eight hundred now. Now I'm going to wait for uh, two more lines, and then I'll take the take the trade, whichever way it goes. If it breaks the top or the bottom or whatever. I'll come back. Oh man, look at this thing run. I got out way too early. Look at it still going. Oh man. That's quite a quite a move. Very bullish. Oh wow. It's still going. Oh man, I got out way too early, huh? Oh well. Whenever you're a trader, seriously, I've been trading for 20 years. Don't kick yourself. Because guess what? It doesn't do any good at all. It does absolutely no good. And also at the same time, don't pat yourself on the back because guess what that doesn't do any good either the best thing to do when you trade is not to be emotional is try to think logically clearly without emotion pretend like you're a robot and all you're doing is looking at it mathematically and objectively and just what is that is that a short signal? No. And, uh, you know, always at all times, do the best that you can, you know. And, um, because if you, if you beat yourself up all the time, because you, cause you made a mistake or whatever, you didn't do the right thing, guess what will happen? You'll beat yourself up all the time the time I mean really and uh, it just you know it doesn't do any good you know, you're going to make mistakes the most important thing is not to make critical mistakes like holding on to a losing position that's something you don't do if you do that then yes you should beat yourself up never hold on to a losing position plan your trade trade your plan with my system you always have a plan at all times you know exactly where you're gonna get in you know exactly where you're gonna get out and you follow it if you don't then you should beat yourself up when I say get out I mean uh, for a loss you know you know where your loss will be Uh, your exits are always, um, you know, a, a little bit harder on your exits. Like, I just missed that exit. I took a good profit, but, you know, kept on going. So,
All right, let me see here. All right, we're going to get some lines. I'll be right back. Okay, we've got our lines here. All right, it's already produced a long signal here off of these two lines. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. The reason why is this. Number one, we're already way, way up. Number two, the range is really big, meaning my stop is going to be huge. I don't want to risk it. Uh, and also, there's a third reason, but I can't tell you that in this video. Uh, it has to do with one of my systems. And um, I am going to wait. I'm going to pass up on this one. Okay. And I'm going to wait, see what happens. And I will take the next one. I will take the next two lines. Whether it's a long or whether it's a short, I'll take it. Hopefully it'll be a short, but uh, either way, I'll, I'll take it. Okay, actually, we do need to adjust it. Okay, according to my rules, we need to adjust it now. Okay, here's the line. So now, if it breaks, if it were to hit 958, then it would be a long signal. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's right. If it were to hit 958 now, one more time, yeah, 958, then it would be a long signal. Otherwise, if it comes all the way back down, it's going to be a short signal. Now, what's most likely going to happen is it's going to come down here somewhere, and it's going to create another two lines, and then we'll go by those two lines. Whichever way those two lines break, whether short or, or long, I'll take it. It'll go in that direction. Anyway, pretty cool, though, huh? It's all a matter of knowing what to do. And my with my system... You can know what to do and be able to score on these trades just like you see me doing. Anyway, I will come back. Okay, it just broke the top there, top line. So technically it's a long signal here. I'm not going to take it because I'm going to wait until I get two more lines. And uh, I will take those two lines whichever way it goes. Whether it goes short or goes long, I'll take them. But it is definitely bullish today, though. Market looking hot. Anyway, I am going to be patient here. Wait for the next two lines to come. And then I will take those two lines, whichever way it goes. If it gives a long, I'll take it. If it gives a short, I'll take it. Whatever way it goes. But, um... Market definitely looking good, that's for sure. These two were a long signal, and these two here are now a long signal. And it is moving up pretty good. Okay, I will come back. Wow, would you look at this thing run? <laughs> wow, the market's really bullish. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, it's really nice to see, though. It's, it's, you know, if it did this every day, <laughs> I would be uh, super rich. Super rich. Okay. See if it'll roll over here now. Looking to get uh, two new lines here. Can't get them yet. And uh, I would be looking for a short signal off of these two lines. The chances of it continuing to move up here is mm, not not so good. But then again, it. It could happen. I mean, it definitely could happen. But uh, I would say the math the math favors it coming back down. But uh, maybe not necessarily. You know, it, it uh, just could be a big day today going up. Could easily happen. Anyway, I'll come back when I've got two new lines. 
Oh man, look at the Dow run. This thing is really impressive today. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Very, very. Wow, look at it go. Oh man, I'm, I'm impressed. I still don't have two lines. Wow, look at this thing run. Bullish, bullish, bullish. Okay, I'm still looking to get two lines here so I can get a signal. I'll come back. Okay, we've got two new lines here. Here's the top. Here's the bottom. Looking to see which way it's going to break. That's a big move up. That's really nice. alright let's see here if it hits 34 it's a long signal otherwise it's gonna come all the way back down break below here and it's gonna be a short signal I'll come back okay 34 this thing's gonna go long can't believe this 31. What are we at right here? Thirty-two. Okay, it just broke. It's a long signal. I'm not going to take it right here. This could be a fake. This could be a fake right here. I'll teach you this in my uh, charting service. I'll show you how it does this over and over again. This could be a fake. It could come all the way back down still. Okay, I'll adjust the line now. Okay, 38. Gonna take it long if it hits 38. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. All right, taking it. Man, I can't believe this thing. This thing really wants to go up. Incredible. That's one, two, three of them in a row, all long. You don't see this very often. Let's see to calculate the exit here. Not really sure, but it should go up quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to come right back. Okay, it's moving up here again. Up 3,600. Thirty-eight hundred. Four thousand. Ready to get out any second. I mean, I'm just ready. I'm not, you know, looking to get out. Looking for it to go up quite a bit more here. But I'm ready to get out any time. Always be ready to get out. Always want to lock in profits, you know, if you, if you, but right now I have long signal, multiple long signals here. Shot up to 60. Currently up 4,500. Ready to get out at market. Here 
if it comes back down to my break-even point, I will get out. I'm going to jump out because it's we're, we're really topping out here up here. I mean, we could be topping out. It could roll over and come down real hard at any time, and I don't want to write it down. If it continues to go up, great. Starts coming back down on me, I'll get out, play it safe. Lock in profits, keep your profits for the day. Don't give them up. Trading is not gambling as many people think it is. It's knowing how to manage your risks and taking the right entries. Boy, UGAZ just took a shoot shot way up. Okay, let me take a look here. We're looking good, we're looking good. I'm ready to get out anytime up 5,000. Go, baby, go. God, what this thing is bullish as can be today. Incredible. Okay, ready to get out any time at market here. Okay, I'm taking it right here. All right, I'm out. 51, 50, uh, 5100. Look at it go some more. It's okay. If it goes up another 100 ticks, guess what I'll do? I won't kick myself. If it comes down right here and I nail the top, I won't congratulate myself. And you know why? I know I told you this before, but do you know why? Because it won't do any good. Either way. Trade like a robot. You don't have any emotions. You're just doing what you're doing mathematically, logically, as best you can. It looks like I should have held on to it. It's going to give a long signal again. Oh, it just gave a long signal again. Ah, oh, man, I'm not. I'm not going to jump in. It's too much for me. Too much. I'm up 5,000 here. As you can see, my system will will give you the right direction. You know, this isn't a coincidence. You know, my signal, my system gives you the right direction. I just a little bit on the uh, well. I can just tell you this: I haven't seen it do this in quite some time. This is something you know. This is not something that happens mathematically very often. If it did, I would be have no problem holding on to it and keep on going up. But mathematically speaking, it's going against what it mathematically usually does. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I am going to wait for two more lines, and then I will take it again. And I can just tell you right now, the mathematical chances of those two lines going short are extremely high. I would say about 80%. So I'm going to be looking for the rollover for the short entry, and I'm going to take it. Should be able to nail a good trade off of it. Anyway, you are seeing how you make money for yourselves. All of you. You're seeing me do it. It's not that hard. And I didn't even take this one right here, this break. And I could have and made a huge amount. And I didn't even do it. I, I missed out on it. And still I'm way up. Anyway, I'll come back. Okay, you can see the Dow coming down here, just like I, you know, suspected that it would. Uh, unfortunately, I've got to uh, take off here, leave uh, for the day. So I'm ending the day 5,160 up on the Dow, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow to do some more trading. Hope you traders out there are doing really well and took advantage of today. It's a great day to uh, to use my system and make lots of money, that's for sure. And it, it'll still be a great day for the rest of the day, uh, just that i got to get going. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow, everyone. Happy trading out there. See you tomorrow.